Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about NAS. In this video specifically, we're gonna focus in GPU. And now you're gonna ask why GPU? GPU will help you to transcode fast any video, anything that you want and you will use a little bit less for your CPU. But you're gonna ask Alan why you tell about GPU, you didn't say about a graphic card. It's because not necessarily that only graphic cards have GPU, you have other options and in this video we're gonna explain a little bit more about it. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet and let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told in this video, we're gonna focus to understand if it's really worth for you to have a GPU in your system and which case that will be required for you. First of all, if you guys come here my screen, we're gonna focus on should you have a GPU in your NAS and it's really worth it. So if I come here a little bit more, I will give some examples why I want to have a GPU and why it's interesting for me. GPU basically will help you to accelerate your video transcription, nothing else. If you expect to have more speeds in your hard drive, this will not make any difference. They will only help with acceleration of video transcoding and some EIs. Not necessarily that all the GPUs will be really good for EI, because for EI it's interesting some specific GPUs, but also could help you to get a better performance, so at least try to run better the local EIs instead of you only use the cloud ones. With a GPU will help you to have a transcode really smoothly, will work in your system without use too much, your CPU will make sure that everything is smoothly, you don't need to wait for buffer, you don't need to wait for the start to work. Basically, you're gonna play and that they will start to work. Not necessarily that CPU will not do it, but normally the CPUs need to be more powerful or more recently in order to do it. In relationship of GPU, you can get a little bit old and that we talk a little bit more about it soon. Also, without a GPU, your CPU started to overload, all the performance starts to be slow and also your CPU is responsible for your RAID, responsible for all these applications in your NAS, so everything starts to be slow only for transcode a video, compare that uh, with a GPU, they share the load. So the CPU will be responsible for some activities and GPU will be responsible for all the transcription of the video. And with uh, your GPU, you can have a best performance, less load in your CPU, and that overall performance for this will be more pleasure and that will work better. But I'm gonna ask again, why GPU, why didn't say buy a graphic card and that's it? because you have different options of uh, graph cards or different options of uh, GPU. So I will go here and I'll explain everything, but let's first focus for the NVIDIA. In my opinion, the best ones because just work, you don't need to stress anything. So if I go here, here it's my NVIDIA ones. So you can have different options of NVIDIA that will work. If you go for a low power that support a lot of codecs, you go for a GT 1030. Remember, they are not good for 4K, but for 1080p will work really well and will have quite low power consumptions. If you want to have a little bit more update or more recent codecs that they will support, you need to go at least for a GTX 1060, what have DDR5 and that they are excellent for multiple streams and that will support the newest codec and the consumption of energy will be not so high. If you want a really small factor GPU, what you don't need to have a more uh, specific power supply, you don't need to worry about you so much power, will be the 4P. So it can be 4P 400, 600, 2000 and a lot of people starting to use those because they are compact, they don't use so much energy and they are really good for performance. Principally, if you want to build a small NAS and you don't want to make a really tower, 
this will be one of the good options basically you can fit one gpu in your hands or a little bit bigger and that's there really thin really light no much consumption and that will work well if you want one of the best ones that you wanted to make a lot of transcriptions and you wanted to go specific for 4k then you need to go for one of rtx in this case I put example the 1060 what these RTX work quite well we we'll do a lot of transcription without use all this GPU power but will have a lot of power consumption they will use around 100 150 watts only to transcription some videos and if you use 100% of this GPU you're gonna use maximum power what you need to allocate a better power supply and everything and the last ones will be the T600, T1000, what is an NVIDIA workstation, it's quite compact, quite efficient, but don't go lower than T600. I think that I bought a T200 some time ago to try to make some transcriptions and basically didn't work, didn't make any difference, so end up take out, give back or sell, I don't remember, or maybe it's in the garage, but was not worth for the money because use the power and they was not able to transcript anything so have this one in mind also one thing that it's interesting for you avoid the ddr4 option for this 1030 because they will not support in the new codec as i told not only nvidia gpus can transcode video you can have the eGPUs directly in your cpu you can look for those intel's options what you can look for let's say intel e3 e5 e7 at least 10 generation not go lower in this case my computer here have a four for five generation do not have this integrate card that will work with quick sync but if your intel have option for quick sync and it's one of the newest one you can run at least one or three 1080p streams exactly in the same time transcode everything and will not get bottleneck not be slow will basically work also if you want a more dedicated for NAS GPU or more dedicated for NAS CPU, then you're gonna go for those Intel's N100, N300. They are built for mini PC, what will have really low power consumption. I think that this one's around 15 watts. They will be with uh, same option for quick sync and they will work and they are built to run Jellyfin in a fast way also you can have more specifics let's say that intel arc they will allow some transcription if you use linux in your system look like open media vault true nas and raid those will not work so well because they don't have a specific drive folks for linux at the moment remember not in only intel cpus will allow you to make a video transcription you can have some adm options as well and in this case you can go for ryzen option what uh, will give you some vega cpu of course, they will be great only for 1080p. No of those will work really well for 4K, neither for ADMs or neither for Intel options. If you want 4K transcription, yes, you don't have option. Go for a big GPU card and that's, you know, that will work. But anyway, if you don't want too much space, you can go for Ryzen 5 or Radeon RX and that they will allow you to do transcription. So in other words, if you want to have a budget GPU, yes, go for a GT1030. If you want one of the best cost and value and power consumption, go for GTX 1060. If you want the best one and don't care about cost and you don't want to care about power consumption, yes, go for RTX 360, 390 and continue on. They will use a lot of power. They will use a lot of energy will cost more but will make a lot of transcriptions in the same time they will support 4k transcription for 1080p 720 and they will just work and if you want a little bit low power consumption then you can go for intel or eGPUs what will allow you to make this transcription quick sync but not necessary 4k will be more folks for 1080p only thing that you need to remember you need to configure or give permissions for this user or this gpu to have access in your docker you cannot only plug it and it will work you need to make a, a 
in the environmental add a device and add the specific device also in your jellyfin you need to choose what kind of connection or what kind of transcription that you want let's say that see if you don't want any transcription you need to go for no in specific in your server configuration in the part of transcription but let's say if you want to use any video you need to select any video and need to allow that the devices connect to your docker principally because of permission docker is really good because a container self-contained application but if you don't allow it to communicate externally they will not communicate external and that will not work different that if you run a let's say plex or other application directly in your system instead of a docker but anyway we we'll work only have a look a little bit internet you need to put slash test device and that you decide which device that you want and that it will work other thing that you need to have in mind it depend what gpu that you choose let's say nvidia that you want to use will have some kind of hardware acceleration that it will support not necessarily that will support all of those so have a look in your hardware acceleration configuration and that they will give some advice which options that will work better for a system or which option that you should avoid if you are focused for a specific format of codec if i come here back let's say that they're gonna do a trial i did a small trial with my rtx 360 ti and that's uh, before i use the gpu i was using only my cpu and my cpu was going eight nine percent all the time to make a video transcription only with one struggling sometimes there was buffer sometimes they were pausing i need to wait to load to make a little bit buffer in my transcription before i started to use it in relationship if i put my gpu my gpu use all the power they was using i think that 10 or 15 percent but my gpu just dropped drastically they didn't use so much and that uh, all the rest of the application was work everything was work really well and run really smooth principally with the new kind of codec and other things that i want to try in my setup other thing that you need to have in mind will be the power consumption you don't expect that you put a gpu there and that uh, your power consumption will be exactly the same because the gpu in idle they already consume some energy let's say if i use my ap2000 in my nas they will be using at least 10 watts without use it at all and if i put it to transcript or video transcript they will go for 30 50 if i use my 30 60 they will use more and the idle will be a little bit more so you're gonna ask why it's worth and it's really worth if you use all time video transcription let's say that you have your device that you're gonna use externally and you need to transcript it before use it let's say that all your media is based on 4k and that that device will only use 720 yes you're gonna need to do it otherwise don't lose time if you have your nas only for backup files and all this kind of application that don't involve video they will not make any difference for you they will not add any value they will only use more power and you gonna have exactly the same performance because what affect the speed of hard drives will be the hard drive what will affect the RAID speeds will be your cpu nothing will be related for your gpu unless you want to use for video transcription so it's a really specific application this reason that most of them they call graphic cards because they are folks for graphics video not for anything else and if i go a little bit more what's other problem that you're gonna have compatibility you need to set up your docker to have access for your gpu you need to make sure that that specific drive it's compatible for the system that you use let's say that you use open media file it's linux based so if you look for a gpu that don't have drives for linux they will not work make sure that you all install the drives correctly download it also you need to make sure that your docker or jellyfin container have access for a gpu otherwise they will not make any difference you can have a, a compatible gpu you can have all the drive installed but if you don't let docker or jellyfin to access this gpu basically they will not uh, be able to use it and also you need to manual tweak or adjust your docker compose or your container to make sure that access it also depend what gpu 
you're gonna need to set up different permissions if you want a quick sync you're gonna need to use different permissions and here also you need to configure it different depend of what kind of a GPU that you're using in other words it's worth or not worth depend of your application I don't have a correct answer that say yes it's worth go there and buy tomorrow install it run everything you need to see what kind of application that you use. Most of the case, I use direct transmission because all the time that I watch a video, I will watch in my network, my house. If your focus will be Jellyfin, Plex, Envy, and really need to transcribe all the time, yes, it will be worth. If not, in my case, most of the time I watch in my house or watch my parents' house or my brother's house that will use it, and everyone have a fast internet, so not make any difference. I have one gigabyte, my brother have one gigabyte, my father will have one gigabyte. So all the time that they are sending, directly send, this will not make a big impact for my speed of internet. But if I go to the street and I want to watch in my phone, okay, maybe I will want to transcript it before or have this video transcript for them to use all my internet in this case. You need to be comfortable to configure it. You need to understand a little bit more about how to download your driver. You need to understand how to configure it or allow that Docker will have access for this application. In the case Jellyfin, Jellyfin will have access for this drive or for the, this device. And you need to tweak in order to work for me to make sure that it's work, I needed to do a few trials and until I get optimum speeds. Because first of all, I try to add only put as a device. So when I try to put in my Jellyfin, what I did, I downloaded all the drivers, try to get the device connect, but I make a little bit mistake, choose the wrong name of device. And then when I try to use it, they was not working. All the time that I try to run, they stop to work, error, error, error until I figure out that the name of the, the device that I use was wrong, the configuration of my specific codecs or specific hardware decoding was wrong. They didn't support one of those, so I click it and that didn't work. So you need to make sure that you are happy to do this configuration. Why will it not be worth? If you don't use video transcription, as I told, it's only for it. If you wanted to have a basic file service only for share files or have some other application that don't get involved with media, yes, you don't need it. Also, if you require a really low power consumption system, if you wanted to have a 20 by 7 and want to use only 15 watts, not 30, not 40, not 60, yes, this option will be not valid because they will use more power all the time. And you don't need to worry about configuration, don't need to worry about any extra hardware in your system because a GPU, in the other way, you need to maintain it, you need to change if they break and continue on. So in this way, you need to have in mind what case or what's your needs before you start to look for a GPU. So in this way, we arrive at the end of the video. I hope that you guys like the video. If you like the video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed and see you next time. Bye.